Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today in our Strict Haven, a curriculum of chaos coverage, we're going to take a look at one of my new favorite creatures, the Groff. All right, so if you like this Strict Haven stuff and you haven't already, check out this playlist. We're loading all of our videos into that playlist, so you've got one convenient spot to take a look at. And we are so close, so, so, so close, as of right now, uh, to our goal of 3,000 subscribers. As I'm recording this, we're at like 2,800 or something. It's really exciting. We're going to hit that 3,000 by the end of the year. I can just taste it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe, share the videos, like, leave a comment. All the stuff you're doing is so great. Thank you. And join us over at discord.gg slash fried minis if you want to keep the conversation going. Okay, so the Groff is this like plant slash dog. It's kind of like a shambling mound, but more dogish. <laughs> I don't know. This this is a creature that comes from Magic the Gathering. This is not, or before now, this wasn't a D and D monster. Uh, <laughs> and I'm telling you, the artwork on this is cool. The abilities are cool. But I looked through this whole book like three times, specifically looking for where this is in the in the book, and it's not. I and if it is, hey, great. If you're watching this video in the future when it's available on D and D Beyond, and you can go and you can search it, cool. Please leave a comment. Tell me where it's at. But I could not for the life of me find where that's where this monster's in the book. <laughs> I can say I'm really excited to see the WizKids mini of it. Okay, so uh, there's not a lot of lore here, but uh, let's cover that first. Many a Strixhaven student wandering the bayou has stepped on a seemingly mundane patch of moss, only to discover that it was the back of a hungry groff lurking beneath the surface. These shaggy swamp creatures have canine faces and glowing blue eyes, and they are ravenous carnivores, with pest mascots being their favorite food. A handful of more intrepid Witherbloom mages have learned to follow Groff in order to track down pest mascots, but most of these mages have yet to find a way to capture the pests before the Groff eats someone. So uh, each college has its own mascot creature, Witherbloom College, as the pest, it's like a caterpillar kind of thing. And I guess these eat these and the, uh, the, the Groff eat the pests. And so they kind of like a truffle pig, but angrier. Okay, so I think you've got an idea of where we're going. So here are the actual stats. I like that we've got a swim speed right off the bat. You're not getting away from this too easily. Uh, a large plant creature, there aren't many plant creatures, and with I mean, with this artwork, I'm surprised that it's a plant, truthfully, and not like a monstrosity, but we don't have a lot of plant monsters, so I'll take it. False appearance is such a great ability here. Uh, if it's motionless at the start of combat, it has an advantage on the initiative roll, and if you haven't seen it move, you have to do a DC 18 investigation check to even determine that it's not just the swamp. I love these hiding and wait creatures that are just out there doing their thing and you are the weirdo coming into the swamp. Our actions are pretty good. We get a bite attack and a swamp claw attack. A bite with plus seven to hit uh, for a D8 plus five, that's all right, that's fine. But the swamp claw is really neat. We've got a plus seven to hit, D6 plus five. And if the target is a medium or smaller, it makes a DC 15 strength save or is engulfed by the groff. Uh, it can't breathe, is restrained, and takes 3d6 poison damage at the start of each of its turns. So, I mean, this sounds, like I said at the start, this sounds a lot like a shambling mound uh, where it's just going to, like, overwhelm you. But the shambling mound, I think, I like to think of it as a little bit more of a neutral uh, creature out there that if you come after it, it'll come after you. But it's not hunting you. This, I could see, I could see, I could see it hanging out, but I could also see this hunting you. Uh, as it does these pests. Uh, I looked up the Magic the Gathering lore as best I could, and it seems like there's not much more beyond uh, what we've got here. So this is a cool creature. I This is another example of I wish this lore was fleshed out a little bit more, or at least something included in the adventure itself to give us some more context. But as it is, it's all right, and the stat block is pretty fun, especially for just a CR4. I would definitely look forward to using these to devour my uh, characters and party members. So what do you think of the Groff? Please let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, all the stuff you've heard a thousand times before. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.